Hi guys, welcome back to the FamiSafe channel. If you're navigating the complex world of your child's digital habits and looking for the right tools to manage their device usage, you are in the right place. Today, we're dissecting Apple's screen time feature to help you decide if it is the right fit for your family. Apple's screen time aims to make parental control as seamless as possible. For families invested in the Apple ecosystem, the integration across devices is great. However, it's not without its downsides. While Screen Time excels in setting boundaries for app usage and website access, there is no proper location tracking, no geofencing, no browsing history, and no social media monitoring. Plus, tech-savvy kids will easily find workarounds such as changing the device's time settings to bypass downtime schedule. This is precisely why I would actually suggest giving FamiSafe a try. Not only does it cover all the bases that Apple's basic controls do, but it also throws in a bunch of additional features that really set it apart. We're talking about things like detecting social media usage, enhanced location tracking, and geofencing capabilities, tracking TikTok and YouTube viewing history, and even offering an insightful driving report for your teenagers. Plus, it keeps an eye on every single browser on your child's iOS or even Android devices, whether that's Google, Safari, or Edge. But let's delve into the core features of the screen time first and see the good and the bad of the app. The content restrictions in screen time are quite robust, with its knack for sifting through website access and keeping adult content at bay, it lays down a strong groundwork for keeping the web a safer place for your kids. Plus, the privacy settings are a good addition. Screen time is great with its app management features. The ability to monitor app usage, block apps, or set specific limits is invaluable. There is also the one more minute feature that allows your kid to finish up whatever they are doing before switching off. To begin with, I thought this was a great addition, but then I found out that kids can use this in a way that is getting them more time by constantly asking for one more minute, one more minute for different apps. So I've changed my mind and decided that it's not such a great tool after all. Implementing daily screen time limits and downtime schedules is straightforward with screen time. You can customize these settings to match your child's routine so they don't get access to certain apps at certain times of the day like dinner time or bedtime, which is great. They also allow you to set up customized daily schedules so you can change them according to the day of the week. While screen time does not directly offer location tracking. Apple's Find My Friends feature can be used in tandem to keep tabs on your child's whereabouts. But there's no specific geofencing feature where you get an automatic notification if your kid arrives or leaves a certain location. There's also no location history, which is sometimes something that, that is particularly useful for parents wanting to keep a closer eye on their child's movements. When you compare this to the location and geofencing features that are included in the FamiSafe app as standard, then it's just severely lacking in functionality. This should be included as standard in my opinion, and this just means that screen time is not something that you should use alone. But of course you can use the Apple AirTags, which are capable of doing a similar thing. But besides the $100 price tag for four of these little gadgets, they are prone to getting lost very easily. It's kind of ironic for something that's meant to help you track your child, right? My friend and son did exactly that just last week. There was a school trip to the mountains where he lost his air tag at the school before they even got on a bus. So his parents couldn't track him at all. You also got to think that if your kid doesn't want to be tracked, then all they have to do is sneakily leave the air tag at home or somewhere and they won't be tracked. You won't be able to find them. And that kind of makes it absolutely pointless as a parental control, in my opinion. For YouTube watchers, screen time lets you access YouTube by completely blocking it, setting up a time limit or limiting explicit content on the videos that your kids are watching if it's appropriate. But it won't show you any watch history or send alerts if inappropriate content is accessed accidentally. You'll have to go into the app on your child's phone in order to access the information. It also won't monitor YouTube if you watch it in another browser like Safari. So you'll have to go through and set up restrictions in that browser or 
in another app, as well as in your iPhone settings. All Apple phones and devices come with screen time installed, so that you can easily set up the basic controls on your child's device to limit their activity. But if you want to have access to your child's device from your own device, then you'll have to subscribe to Family Sharing Package to be able to set up parental monitoring. And although Family Sharing comes with a whole host of other features, I think the fact that this isn't free as standard on iOS is just plain greedy on Apple. Apple's part. You'll be much better off paying for a third-party parental control app like FamilySafe that will give you a lot more features for your money. I'm going to drop a link in the description below so they can check it out and actually try it out for yourself for free. So that's it from me today, but what are your thoughts on Apple screen time? Have you found it effective? Or do you lean towards additional tools for more control? Drop me a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, press a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.